Hi folks, it's Greg here. With everything that you need to post, I will post. And uh, if you were wondering if there was a collection of Arthur Q. Smith songs, there is. Um, this collection, Arthur Q. Smith, The Trouble with the Truth, released in 2016. Um, and it has, it's a two CD set. The first CD is full of songs um, that were made famous by country artists during the 40s and 50s um, that were written by Arthur Q. Smith. Um, uh, most of the names that were popular then at some time seems to have recorded one of Arthur Smith's songs, whether it's Roy Acuff, uh, Mother Maybell and the Carter Sisters, uh, Carl Smith, Moon Mulligan, uh, uh, Don Gibson, uh, Ernest Tubb, um, all the names are Stanley Brothers, Hank Williams, all recorded songs written by this man, Arthur Q. Smith. And I must tell you, um, this, this two record set of the collection of Arthur Q. Smith's songs um, is almost entirely a Knoxville, Tennessee production. Um, I believe it was Bradley Reeves who discovered Arthur Q. Smith. I'm not sure of that, but he has worked to put this collection together. Um, he is responsible for much of the booklet in here that's in the two record set that details the life of Arthur Q. Smith, and uh, with a, with an emphasis, of course, on his writing life and his time here at WNOX on Gay Street and at the uh, Four Feathers Tavern across the street um, here in Knoxville, Tennessee, where he wrote many of his songs and sold many of his songs uh, to uh, stars that were in town for the midday uh, roundup at uh, WNX and OX studios uh, or, or uh, to the Shursky's um, uh, couple that owned the Four Feathers Tavern um, who he would gladly sell a song to um, uh, for a drink today. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like the old Popeye character, you know, I will gladly give you, but he, he sold songs to pay for his drinking. And um, so there is a history here, researched through local libraries here in Knoxville by Bradley Reeves. And uh, it's phenomenal. In fact, it was, it was so good. It's such a good story that Bradley uncovered that he won a Grammy um, for the notes, I believe, the texts in this collection um, uh, of music by songs written by Arthur Q. Smith. Um, Marty Stewart has a, uh, does an introduction to the booklet that's included in this. Um, but, um, most of the text, the small paperback booklet, uh, is, uh, was done by Bradley Reeves. Now, you may say, who's, uh, you know, who's Bradley Reeves? Bradley Reeves, uh, uh, 
some of you may know already, as he's the founder of TAMIS here in Knoxville, the Tennessee Archive of Moving Images and Sound. It was Bradley Reeves that created that branch of the Knox County Library and uh, uh, the historical museum here. Um, TAMIS, that, that organization he founded, provides many of the photos in here of Arthur Q. Smith at the you know, tavern on Gay Street, um, Arthur Q. Smith with many of the country stars of the time that he that he sold songs to and who made hits out of his writings uh, are pictured in here. Um, Ernest Tubb, uh, Carl Butler, local, local boy do good. Uh, there's a lot of great pictures in here from Tamas, also Bradley Reeves. Um, now with that said, <laughs> this collection is going to be harder to find um, because of the subject in your local library. You're going to have a harder time finding this in your library than, say, you know, the Big Bang of country music, um, which really had reverberations countrywide, if not universally. Um, just because of the, the nature of the subject, perhaps. Um, but this, to me at least, deserves as much, if not more, you know, just between you and I, uh, a prominent place in uh, music and music history. Um, but you're, this is going to be hard pressed to find this in the library. Online, it is available everywhere. Amazon, Walmart. Um, yeah, you'll have no trouble finding this online. The two record CD set with the book. 30 bucks, you know, to come, you know, hand delivered to you um, by one of those retailers. Um, and I strongly suggest it. Um, now, you may be asking, why haven't you heard of this record set? You know, whereas you heard of the Big Bang of country music, you know? It's like, when that came out, it was like, oh, no, the Big Bang of country music. Again, it goes to historical significance, perhaps. I'd say yes. But more importantly, it goes to... the company that published this two record set. Guess who it was, folks? <laughs> Big Bear, the Bear Family Records. What is this? Bear Family Productions published this in 2016. Now, <laughs> just like they published the Big Bang of country music, that was uh, that was an historical collection, much like this, put out by um, uh, that was done produced by uh, Ted Young, I believe his name was Professor Young, that uh, uh, from East Tennessee uh, a University. Um, I asked Bradley um, about why Bear Records, and basically he told me the exact same thing as Ted Young once told me about the Big Bang Collection. Why Bear Records? <laughs> why go through Bear Records to publish this material? It's, it's very significant to historical music in America. Why? And Bradley Reeves told me the same thing at, that Mr. Young said about the Big Bang Collection. Nobody else wanted it. Nobody else wanted to publish this material. 
Nobody was willing to take a chance on this. So it's, once again, it's another Bear family production here from uh, a, a Tennessee archivist and historian that is, I find, fascinating and, and very significant both historically and 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 just in uh, the, the music of it, um, you know, Ted Young and and East Tennessee and and the university found things about you know discovered performers that never were discovered before, with his Knoxville recordings and his uh, Johnson City recording. Here. You have a, an archivist also from Knoxville, Bradley Reeves, uncovering song, a songwriter that until 2016 was never acknowledged for writing some of the biggest hits in country music during the 1940s and 1950s. You never know that wedding bells wasn't written by Hank Williams, but by this alcoholic, Arthur Q. Smith. Big songs, songs by Ernest Tubb, Roy Acuff. They didn't write the songs. Many of them had in the small little caption beneath the song titles, their name or somebody else's name for for writing credits but they didn't have the real writer of some of their hits Arthur Q Smith and it's here it's out there and like the Big Bang Collection or any of the work done by Ted Young from uh, his work with uh, Knoxville music or, or Bristol music or the, or the Johnson City recordings, you're not going to find that on YouTube. You're not going to find that on YouTube music. You're not going to find that on Spotify. You will not find them on any of the major music channels that might expose someone young, somebody listening or watching um, to this work, this historical work, because Bear Family Records will not allow any of this material onto those sites and therefore it doesn't get out and broadcast to the rest of the world so people have to find out through word of mouth or for from friends saying hey did you know did you hear And that's my post today. <laughs> right here from Knoxville, Tennessee, where everything that's fit to post will be posted. <laughs> Arthur Q. Smith, The Trouble with the Truth. Give it a listen. Check it out.